Welcome to Use Effect Tutorial. It is from Zero to Hero Tutorial about Use Effect. So first of all, we will come. What is Use Effect? So first, the Use Effect are hooks came to React Library in 2018. So many of you were confused about Use Effect. What does it mean? And first, we will explain that what does Effect mean? The Effect, if we refer to the functional programming, Effect means a side effect. It is a term of functional programming. Okay. So what does side effect mean side effects mean whenever you would like to perform an action from outside world like you are rendering blog posts from a server you are fetching the data from the server it means that uh, outside from you will react up in short we will say that use effect is a tool that lets us interact with the outside world but not affect the rendering or performance of our component that it is new okay it will not affect our uh, component so it will just fetch the data whenever the component render for the first time okay it will run for the first time whenever the component render yeah the common side effects that we have those are like making request to an api whenever you would like to fetch the data from a backend server and also if you would like to interact with the browser apis like docker into window and others and the third one is that using unpredictable uh, timing functions like set timeout and set interval. So these are the common uh, side effects or use effects that we will use. So now we will come and explain using an example. So okay, for example, I have my this React app. Okay, I would like to change the name of this React app. Okay, now we have the name of this. Yeah, it is our React app name. Now right now the name is React app. We would like to change this. Okay. So using it in this uh, component, it is not good. So we will use the use effect for this, okay? Whenever the component renders, so the first time it will set that name, okay? For other time, when we are changing the states, it will not render. So to use the use effect, first of all, we will import it. Use effect. And now we will just declare it here. Above from return statement, use effect. We will pass two arguments to use effect. First one is the function with us, okay? And the second one is the dependencies. Dependency array, okay? We will explain it. First, we will come here. We will write our code here. For example, I would like to change the name of our React app is equal to. Yeah, I have changed this name right now. Okay, I will just run the server. I have already run the server. Let's check it what happened. Okay, you see that first for the first time it has rendered. Okay, so when we are changing the state, for example, I would like to change the state now. So for changing state, I will declare a name, const name, and I will use here use state hook. State by default, the name is all with your sub. Okay, and I will also use this name here. Okay, so now to change the state, uh, for example, I will create a button, click OK or change, change name, and here on click, I will call a function handle change. Okay, now I will create that function. change and here I will just update the name set name I will change use effect to real okay so here I will print the name yeah let's see it what happened okay by default we have the name of code with use of okay yeah by default we have code with use of and also we have printed code with use of now I click on this change name we will update the state okay we have updated this name but that name didn't update okay so it means that uh, it uh, use effect render for the first time whenever the component render so the first time it runs okay after that when you are changing the state so it will not render again so now we will come to these dependencies what are the, the purpose of your usage of this dependency now we'll, we will explain it Yes, the second argument with, which is an array, it is called dependency array. This array should have the values that our side effect relies upon. 
okay those values which our side effect relies on that for example we have created before this example okay and title we have changed the value of the title from outside from our scope okay uh, from outer scope we have changed the name so name so this name we need to include that within this dependency array okay because we are changing this name from outside okay from outer scope so we need to include this name in our dependency array whenever our name changes for example here we change our state so whenever the state or this name changed so it will re-render this use effect okay so let's see it I will like name here and also I will write it here and also I'm going to change the text so let's see it now okay what happens so right now we have this okay whenever I change the state so it will change the name of our react app also okay because we told this dependency whenever this name change this name okay whenever this name change so it will lead under this use effect function again so it was the purpose of uh, dependency array so in short if we don't write here the dependencies we will write just an empty array so it means that it will render just at the first time whenever the component render so if you write here a uh, variable I'll declare I write something here so it means that whenever that change so it will lead under again this use effect function so now we will come uh, common mistakes uh, in use effects okay yeah, if you don't write this dependency array okay if you don't write this and you use the set uh, for example you update the state and use effect function okay you update the state here so what will happen it will be an infinite loop with us because whenever it come and render this function okay it will just call this okay it will call this whenever it call it will again change the state in the state change it will again re-render it will be rendering it will um, lead to an, an, infinite, an infinite loop with us okay so don't uh, do this mistake always whenever you are writing so, um, something here so just write declare an empty array here okay it is recommended so it was all about use effect if you have any questions you can ask me in comment section so thanks for watching guys